Alright, time to continue our quest. Alright, so this is where we left off. I can level him up. Idiot for killing. Taste Corval steal and remember your impundence in the hells. Now nah, you've done it, you plastic fool. Mm -hmm. See, he was armed. to you, my brother, and welcome to a refuge for the suffering and those in need. No matter often shelter and healing to all who desire it, what is it that I can do for you? No matter is kind and good, aiding those in need. We are taught to help all, no matter who they are, and only take on the burden of others. As you can see, there is much call for the crying God's compassion here at Cal. We would ask that you give if you can afford it. If not, it is no matter. Of course, my brother, please come with me. here, so I guess we will make our departure. It's probably best not to be. Let's see what he has to say. I know, would you be a mighty interesting mind if you wear at the barest prices in Catala? Oh, I'm not here to chat. Oh, I might be moving on pretty soon. If you guys want to make it quick, and then buy some, will you? That's a tough question you're asking. The wizards keep such a thing close to their breasts, they do. 
Can you imagine if everyone knew where sorcerers criminals could be kept, eh? But if anyone could be helping you with that, it'd be the Shadow Thieves themselves. They could pry the secrets from a dead roach. If you're willing to pay the price, hit. I've heard some fool woman have been gathering together all the surviving thieves that won't work under the guild. She'll be dead soon enough, I reckon. I don't know much else. Huh. May have you your own mind. Why don't you go and ask the blood scalp himself? He'd be only off the docks not far from here. Now that's the spirit. Okay, so she's another archer. I mean, not that. Not that I mind. So our next stop is the docks. He says it's not far from here either. Hmm. Well, let's see here. Hmm. The Jansen Hall. Interesting choice of words. Tot, tat, cat. You're a stranger. Kitty always poops in the turnip garden, and Ma gets angry. Mm, that's nice to. Thanks for sharing that. How are you? My Uncle Jack could whoop you in a fight. Uh, I'll say to it. How do you do? A pleasant day, yes? You must be friends of John, garbed as you are. If he's not here, you might catch him in the government district selling turnips. He might even be downstairs in the garden. All right, let's head downstairs to the garden. Let's see what old Jan has to say. What is it? Uncle Gerhard. I just came here to find some turnips. Where's that blasted chicken? He thinks he swiped me sausage. Okay, that's interesting to say the least. If these containers are like, I'm just going to leave them. Probably nothing of use anyway, so... We're going to breed them. But, on the second... But on the, but on the other hand... I can dance on the head of a bin as well. Fleet of foot and all that. Stairs. It must be done. It's probably just left to me. She 
Seymour is willing. Right behind me, right? You need not turn your eyes to me each time I drop my head, Yoshimo. I am well and fine. If that is so, then I am glad. I am eager to please if you should want for anything. I am sure, but I'll keep my thoughts to myself in this case. Ah, the memories of the fallen of the sweetest are that I will intrude no more. Eh, yes, whatever you wish. Give me some direction. I yeah, let's take her advice. Yeah, I'll see to it. You must gather your party before venturing forth. It's done. Let's go to the silver stack and see if we can learn anything here. Sphere. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess we might have to come back another day. Habib. No. My name is Habib Khalid Ahmed Allah, and I cannot be captured. I will throw my mighty scimitar. Your head rather than separate the dignity of prison. Hi, yeah. Wait, what? Uh, normally that works. Okay. So, we'll have to head to the docks. Ah, uh, perhaps this is a good time to tell you something, seeing as you are leading us into the docks and everything. This is Shadow Thief territory, which I've had a couple of run-ins with over the past few months. They don't tend to appreciate independent operators like myself. So the last time they caught me operating the city, I was told either to report to the head of the guild in the docks, Reynold Bleskow, or suffer the consequences. Seems that Reynold needs an outsider to deal with the problem and was willing to trade my punishment by the guild for a service. Failure to go to him might be a bit messy. Now, I'm pretty safe with you, I think, but it's up to you. If we go and see Reynold, we might be able to talk him into a reward, and I'll avoid complications later on. What do you think? I don't want to cause any problems here. I just want to bring this up both to warn you and perhaps mention a possible opportunity for us both. Whenever it's convenient, the guild headquarters... Here, here in the docks, it shouldn't be difficult to find. Just hope they let us in without problems. So I think we have to go here. The Guild Hall. Ew! 
foul worm and pray that Cyric allows you to become one of his holy worshippers. Cast aside whatever false god you pray to and embrace the Prince of Lies in all his majesty. Oh, well, all right then. I know that you said what you did to avoid confrontation, but we should not even jest about such allegiances. Tempting the gods is not wise. I know, you there. You're a friend of Galen's meat boss said you're welcome to enter if he likes. I'm waiting. Huh? Uh, Mr. Is Sidge, let's go talk to him. Good to see you. Hi, can I help you? <laughs> if you have to ask, you sure haven't been here long. I besiege one of the good fellows here in the Shadow Thieves. This place? Well, the guards let you in, so you must belong here. This is the guild hall for the Shadow Thieves. Let me bid you welcome, friend. I, more than likely than the Bloodscalp, has business with you. Reynold Bloodscalp runs this place. Chances are he has business with you if you let you in. You can find him upstairs on the second floor. I'd watch yourself around him. As you wish. Watch your belt pouch while you're at it. Just a word of friendly advice is all. Okay, so we have to go to the second floor. Oh, this way. There we go. There he is, Blood Scalp. My wings have been clipped. Oh, I wish you could understand how it feels to be bound to the ground, chained and weighted like a miserable prisoner of Earth. Oh, it, it's so hard to describe. It's the ultimate freedom. Soar above the clouds and become part of the wind itself. I remember I used to be so happy. The clouds are so special place up there. It's like a land of billowing white beauty that you can walk walk upon. Yes, I'm still here. My, my, if it isn't the freelancer Yoshimo. Come to see me at last. I nearly thought that the streets had opened up and swallowed you whole, dear lad. I am pleased that you gave any thought to, at all to my well-being, sire. It is always good to be remembered by one's peers. Well, now, that would imply that you are one of my peers as opposed to a ragtag independent infringing on our territory. You're just too much, Yoshi. Oh, and please don't eat any of my shadow thieves here. We don't want any eggs laying about. Okay, that was just bad. Anyways. <clears throat> Yoshimo, if you please, sire. Where I come from, such a pet name is only used by... Well, let us say that you and I have not become so familiar yet. Hmm? Point taken. Have you finally come to pay your debt for your recent activities, or are we simply to trade barbs until I am forced to do something hideous? I have come as you have commanded, sire. You have a task for me? I thought I did, but it appears you have done something better. Your traveling companion is of interest, and you have brought him here before me. My thanks. You will not endanger him, sire? It would be a poor treatment of my honor if my companion was brought to danger because of my debt. No, no, nothing like that, I assure you. Now let me speak to your companion for a moment. You'll have to excuse me if I stare, as you are not quite what I was expecting. From all I've been told, I was expecting someone larger. Oh, I've been told many tales of your exploits, some bits of your activities here in Ethica as well as further north. You must understand, actually, that an organization like mine thrives on information above all else. He who is ignorant quickly becomes a target, and all that. Oh, my name is Rena, and I am sure you've been told. Reno Bloodscalp, a little nickname I've earned over time. Rather good sleep, but it keeps the fearful in line. As an aside, I am not the leader of the Shadow Seas as you perhaps mean, but I lead enough that it makes no difference to you. But this is irrelevant. Right to the point, eh? Refreshing. I am sick of the underlings who shift from foot to foot. I find a bit of directness to be a nice change. To be short, Galen recommended you, and I trust his word. I am in need of mercenaries to perform a particular task, and you're just the one to do it. Yes, the details. How shall I put this? One of my guild houses to the south is run by a rather ambitious fellow named Mavar. Good thief, but I never liked him. 
I have hints and hints that he is getting too big for himself. Thinking of taking my place, I suspect, but I've had no real evidence to say that this is so. Now, you're likely thinking, why not just eliminate him? Yes, yes, I suppose I could. But without proof of betrayal, this would anger the other guildmasters and I'd have a warrant on my hands and, well, let it just slide that I don't want that. Especially now with that war you've, we've heard about, right? I bet you wouldn't go to outsiders unless the other guild was threatening you pretty badly. So where was I? Oh yes, your part in this. I would like you to go to Mayvar and join his guild. I will give you papers saying that you were being transferred by the Shadowmaster. You will spy on Mayvar from the inside and find me evidence that I need. Once he is damned with proof, you can take care of his nuisance and eliminate Mayvar. One less headache for a busy man such as myself to be concerned with. You'll need to reassure Mayvar, naturally. He won't know who you are, but I am confident that you are more than capable of this. What you say? You interested? You are interested in far more than the simple goodwill of the Shadow Thieves, I see. I do not blame you. I would feel the same way. Working for Mayvar will give you plenty of rewards on its own, and I have no qualms about adding a healthy dose of gold on top of that. Does that satisfy? Excellent. I knew this would work out for the best. You remind me a bit of myself when I was when I first arrived here. In case you are wondering, Yoshimo, this will ease your freelance activity desk, so as long as you keep me me, they will be overlooked. For now. You are too good to me, sire. The first part that needs to be taken care of naturally is finding the evidence on Mayvar. Here are the papers you need to present to Mayvar men to gain access. I'm sure I don't have to tell you to be careful, do I? No, I didn't think so. Just head to the storefront in the central docks and speak to the storekeeper, Gorge. Show the papers to him, and he'll let you in the guild house proper. Work for Mayvar as long as it takes to collect your evidence, and bring whatever you can find to me. I'll be waiting to receive it most eagerly. We do the bidding of thieves now? Uh, this turns my belly like a hamster running endlessly within a wheel. This can't be a good sign. This is an excellent opportunity for us all. Remember, though, that you must act as loyal guild member at all times, for, or our cover will be destroyed. Well, it's a simple case of a uh, play by ear. See what happens. All right. Okay, so I think. From what I understand, I think he says it's to the south. Right there. Perfect. Come in, come in, take a look around if you wish. I am Gort, the humble proprietor of this modest establishment. I sell many things, things sold to me by those in need. From trinkets to heirlooms, Gort has everything of taste and necessarily that you may desire. Naturally, Gort is here to please. Might you be interested in this elegant act? Quite the fashion with quantity. No? Well, by all means, look about. Oh. Some scimitars. What? Hold that thought. Okay, so the armor class goes up and damage goes up, but armor, but to hit armor critical condition zero goes down. Hmm. It's probably best left sold. Yeah, probably just. Welcome to my site.
Who's got the rest of the potions? I'm gonna sort this all out before I continue. She has them. That door? Just the entry to my own humble abode. Let me show you a fine piece of Symbian jewelry imparted to me by an unfortunate merchant. Ah, why did you not simply say so earlier? You have something written for me, yes? Hmm? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, everything appears to be in order. We can see Mayvar through the door in the back. So nice to meet you, my good friend. Something tells me here that this Annie character, Annie Shy, is not who she claims. He, is not who she claims that she is. All I can see is just a bunch of a uh, bunch of doors. Oh, I see. They're for lock picking. Crazy Kelly. There once was a warrior true, with the sense knocked out of him too. Then in a hamster, he found some wisdom profound, and he goes where he goes is boo. Eh? Are you speaking to me? How do you know this? Tee hee hee hee. I guess we're going the wrong way.
There we go. There's the downstairs. Maybar there. Hello there. I certainly hope you've got a reason to be bothering me because I'm quite busy, as you can see. Or perhaps not. Scared you, did I? Fear will keep you honest. You know what ended like Lynn here, with me having to test your honesty. Difficult to do with certainty. I know those that could order it, but you don't get to where I am without earning some favors. Questioning me would get the accuser on news and a loose one at that. I am short of hands, however, and you must do until I have cause to kill you sooner than later. I'll wager for now a pissant test to test you and pay out the coffers. I suppose I could make the test something you wouldn't balk completely. How about a little Petty larceny admits the stuff robed with the Temple of Talos. I require the amulet worn by the weather mistress. Yes, it looked lovely on her, and I have a beautiful spaniel cross that will adorn just as well. You need not kill her to get it. She likely removes it in the, the night. As pleasing as it is, even it would leave the size of a melon. Slept upon. Now get moving. I've told you the mark. You do the rest. Pick it from her in her sleep if you must, but do not bother me again without the goods. Stealing into the Temple of the Storm Rose is unlikely to earn you the gratitude of the Talson priesthood. Best we proceed carefully with this endeavor. This is worth it. Okay, so I have to go to the Temple of Talos. I guess we're just gotta wait till night. This should be a good opportunity to get some rest. Just keep is gonna have to wait. We're gonna have to go elsewhere. Hmm. Let's go back to the slums.
All right. Now that we're rested up, let's try this again. This person yet? Call me Regus. You, one of that vile races of us. How dare you approach me? How dare you walk among us? What is this? Why do you exhibit such an unpleasant demeanor? What have my people done to deserve such hatred from you? You elves, with your arrogant pride, you are snakes in the garden, serpents among us, who will only lead us to evil. I leave no one to evil, human, and we elves have reason to be proud. We are an old race, far older than you. You admit it, Alvin Harlot. Pride goes before the fall. Your people shall pay for their hubris, I swear it. You are a fool, human, and I have no reason to discuss anything with you further. There it is. There's the temple. But I'm gonna have to wait till night. I'll talk to him first. He who ser he also serves who stands waits and watches carefully. So we're in the afternoon. We're, like I said, we have to wait till night.
requires nothing further for the moment. You will be summoned if you are needed. Oh, very well. Moving on. Okay, so like I said before, we're going to have to wait until night. Listen to me, my brothers and sisters. Jima. We have been chosen as the recipients of a most holy miracle. But it should neither be dismissed nor ignored. I, Gaul, I who have been stripped of my eyes most recently, have been shown the truth that has eluded the sight of The gods that you worship are false gods. Icons that serve to increase the wealth of churches and heathens. Listen to them not. Hold. You speak of blasphemy. The morning Lord Lathander has always shown his benevolence and power. His presence among us is unthinkable. Is it, priest? I ask all of you to question for a moment. In what the priest says is true. Yes, his false god grants him power to fuel his spells, much as any wizard might possess. I say that the churches lie to you. They claim their gods are present when they do nothing other than require your coin to fill their pockets. No, what you're saying cannot be true. The gods have ever protected us. Is that so? Have they protected you from famine? Have they protected you from disease? Have they wrought harmony upon Faerun? No, they have not! They lie and cloud your sight to gain your worship of their false images. I have stripped myself of their foul eyes, and I see what is the truth. The truth, I tell you! You lie, you lie! The gods exist! Such words are a horrid affront to the gods! Surely you will pay for them! Why? Listen to what he has to say. I call on you to abandon your false gods. They have done nothing for you. Cast them aside and join me on the true path. Join me in the calling of the true sight. What does that mean? Shall we tear our own eyes out then? Don't be foolish. What shall we do then? Who shall we turn to if there's no cause? But there is a god. There is the true god. The unseeing eye. He offers the faithful a clarity of vision, the true path to the divine. He offers you protection and succor. Do not listen to him. He seeks to poison your mind. Ah, what has your god ever done for me, eh? Hey, hey? I'm poorer and no better off than I ever was. Don't speak to the priest in that tone. The gods will be offended. Don't you hear what he's saying? There are no gods to be offended. I'd say we see what this unseeing eye has to offer. I, I wish to see you. No, my friends, you do not wish to see you. Forget what the years and lies have taught your eyes. You wish to know. You wish to learn. These are the truths that the unseeing eye can offer to you. A truer gift that you'll not find amongst any of these other so-called deities. Come! Witness the miracle of the truth. Come and behold the unseeing eye for yourself, and see the true God that is present amongst us. No, do not go with him. I wish I want the truth. Show me the unseeing eye. Yes, show me. Come then, those of you who wish to become the truly faithful, who witness the magnificence of the unseeing eye and the truth he brings. Come with me! What are you doing? Are you mad? Witch your mouth, witch! I do not wish to see you. That is your business. Come then, my faithful! Follow me! This must not come to pass. The ever-seeing eye of hell must be made aware of the death. You! I would speak with you. I would hire you as a mercenary in the service of Helm. I prefer my faith, but you will be adequate. Follow me to the Temple of Helm. I will discuss what is required of you there. Do not take too long. Helm requires you now. 
Hmm. Perhaps this would be a good uh, time killer. It's all night balls. Oh, here he is. Such is the will of the vigilant one. It is about time you have arrived. First, I must say that I know your reputation. It is now irrelevant. You will be judged according to how you serve. The task I ask will be treacherous, but you seem capable. Serve well and you will be rewarded. Display any treasure and it will be seen. Now to the task. You heard that fool in the street. If what he says is true, it threatens to upset a delicate balance. A new power would only disrupt the way of things. If he is lying, then whatever cult he is proposing can only serve to hurt those it bilks into following him. Helm offers unwavering stability. Truth faith has no instant reward. Helm very rarely appears in physical form. Walking with mortals is not the way of the gods. Nothing points to the emergence of a new deity. It would be impossible to hide such an event from the great guard that is Helm. What does remain unseen is the fate of those that have chosen to follow. We have lost some of our younger faithful, and they must be accounted for. Hmm. He and the unsleeping eyes must know of this cult. The blindness they promote is abhorrent to Helm. We ask you to investigate and identify what is happening. The Vigilant One informs us that the cult is underground and closed, but we cannot see past the sewers. You must infiltrate it as friend or conqueror. The sewer entrances are marked on your map. You must suffer the filth of the sewers to find the filth of the cult. They are not hiding amidst the pipes, so there must be a passage leading further away. There will be reward. Do not tax your welcome by demanding it now. You will be given your due when the time is right. May the great guard give light to all wrongs against you. You may seek healing and tools to aid you here as you need. As an ask an acolyte and you will receive. Our resources are thin at the moment, but an ally of Helm and servant of Torm is awaiting you in the sewers now. Seek Keldorn to serve you. Faith guide you both. I am glad that you have chosen this course. This cult stinks of wrongness. An affront against nature that must be stopped. Give me some direction. Would serve alongside the guardians of hell. I can tell that you are of a like mind with many that follow the vigilant one. It is a complicated matter, so I trust you will bear with me in the telling. It is my responsibility to furnish this temple with the artifacts that speak of Helm's glory, objects that please the eye draw the mind into the glory of Helm. Athgal is lucky to have an exceptional artist visiting, second only perhaps to that poor prism of Nashgal, what a loss his death was to us. I speak of Sir Sarlis, who is making a brief stop before leaving for Kalimstan. We wish to use this great opportunity to commission a work from him, but nothing is ever easy. Aside from his enormous commission fee, he claims he will work on nothing short of pure illithium, the metal more valued than gold. This is where you come in. I would ask that you convince Sarlis to honor Helm. Other churches court him as well, though they have no more lithium than we. You will have secure enough lithium to keep him happy and convince him to accept an affordable commission. Discuss this with Sarlis. He may be reasonable. Do as you must, but stern in your negotiations. None should exceed Helm in this. Try to avoid hurting anyone, but answer threats in kind. Salad is worth it. You will be paid as best as the coffers of Helm will allow. If you do not come out ahead, count it towards your service to Helm. A donation in another form. Delay will allow other temples to accept us. Go to Sarlis at the Jacef Estate in the southeast section of the government district. Conduct yourself with discipline. You are the eyes of Helm in this enterprise. All right, since we're closer to the sewers, we're going to do that first. Go to this one right here. So, if it must be done. I 
What the what? Strangers walking in our midst? Whose blasted job was it to keep watch? Spoiled our hiding for sure. Blinkster's all around. Alright then. I don't get the spoils. You there, hand over your loot, or I'll split your skulls wide. Thousand gold will do. Then you will fall before the might of my axe. Maybe I'll let Galakabar and Drog have a piece of you as well. I go. Actually, I never got a chance to see a game over in either game, so. There goes me hand, and there goes me bones. The dust. Interesting. Unfortunately, we didn't, uh, we didn't lose that much progress, so... Okay, this is gonna take too much time. Take three. I really like Minskin Boo. Uh, think of it. So she's close to leveling up. Let's do this quick and pain. Oh, 
love of God. What the heck? I swear, give him the simplest commands to do the stupidest dance you'll ever give him. I don't know how many times I have to keep doing this. I could dance on the head of a pin as well. Sure you could. Please just get a face unworthy moment here because this is really absurd. The main character has been killed. No, 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 them come to us. That might... This will make the numbers much, much easier. And what are you three idiot shooters doing? Love of God, Minsk. Jesus Christ. I don't know how many times I'm going to keep doing this here, but this is really getting agitating. So it looks like slime could take damage from magic weapons, huh? Where are they going? Jesus Christ. Okay, you know what? I've had enough. If they're gonna play, let's play. Because I have had just about enough. For real, I've had just about enough. 
because I'm, I'm sick and tired of reloading the game every single time. Just about done yet. Yeah, we're missing someone. Right, everyone meet here. Because right, I just want to get through this. I want to move on. So I've had just about enough. Okay, I think we're gonna be all right now. Okay, I think we're good. I got what I wanted, so we'll call it good. Goblins right here. They're hardly worth the effort. Sermon of the Most Noble Order of the Radiant Heart, and I believe I am to meet you here. Your quests, our quests are linked. The evil of which I spoke, it is presence quite strong and unsurprisingly demands from somewhere deep below us. Lead on, then. I will direct my sword and where you wish. Let us seek an exit from these pits that lead to the greater blackness below. I know little of the wizards except that they meddle in the affairs of others far too often. Aid me first in this cross, my friend. I will then strive to aid you and yours. Let us be off. Okay, so it looks like Mint's exam to stay behind. Who needs to know? Did you want us to 
Alright, so for right now... I got the coronet for right now. Equipped with crossbow, huh? Hmm. Seems like a lot of these items have to be identified. Oh yeah, I think I remember correctly from the trolls, you have to finish them with fire. Otherwise they don't... Otherwise they don't die. Perfect. I'm gonna have to remember about myself some fire arrows if I think of it. Aren't so terrible. The guards don't be coming down here, and my customers like to be somewhere out of sight. It's like an underground market of sorts. It's just the BC that was our biggest problem, but you've gone and handled that for me very nicely, and I'm quite grateful for it, to be sure. 
Looking for a word. How are we? Well, I can't say that it isn't deserved here. I have a few spear coins, 250 of them, all told. Thank you kindly for the deed. Ah, I know a discerning eye when I see one. Eh, you know, there's all sorts of nasty stories about what the cow wizards do with the mages they imprison. But finding the cow wizards themselves can be a feat, never mind finding their prisoners. They could be atop the cloud peaks for all anyone knows. My advice? Talk to the shadow thieves. If anyone knows or could find out, it'd be them. Tricky we're getting them from, but hey, you didn't say it. it had to be easy. Follow me then, down here. I'm gonna swim with practically everything you could possibly need. I definitely want I definitely want those for sure. Iron's tail. Okay, so this is a morning star. late now. I don't know why I did that. On second thought, everyone won't keep it. Seems like this guy's got a lot of potions. Huh. Must be an underground alchemist. I think selling this sword would probably be the better option. Oh, definitely I have some antidote potions. Huh. <sighs> anyway. 
guys. tunnels now. What's up, Minsk? You must gather your party before venturing forth. All right. Where to next? It's a good thing I bought some antidote potions. Can't use. Oh, he has the potions, I think. The big ones, that is. Yeah, he does. I have to go get him back. Glad to be of assistance. There's absolutely no way I could have sold all those potions. Just no way. Big ones, that is. Duty calls, I see.
Yoshimo is willing. Hmm. Okay, so it's another case of how we gotta take a long route. Doing, dude, go here. Oh. So I think probably the best bet is to go back and. Well, first of all, I gotta get the potions back from Minsk because I think he had them. Okay, so we found the cult domain, so that's great. something you don't see every day. here. Wait, go back. Where goes the stench of evil, so goes the cleansing wind of Minsk and Poland. I trust you wish to continue our journey. it up.
Well, I mean, there's... I mean, I guess we could help her out, you know? I mean, I have, I have options. It's not like necessarily I have to do these things in order. This is interesting. Oh, is this from the first game? Do you remember these doors? I remember, I think. Yes, this was my home for so long. But it is too late to go back. Oh. They wouldn't have you now. They wouldn't have me. Someone else does. He wants something. I, I don't know why. Those in the cows don't even. to her old life as though it actually matters, she will learn. It is a portrait of what has happened and what may happen. Do you cling to the past or can you see through the pain? You feel the potential within, don't you? Will you cringe from what you know you want, what you can take as your own? 
You know what you want. It is you, after all, which has brought us to the dream. Nothing is real. Wow, that was weird. All right, that's all right, that's a little bit better. We have a long travel ahead of us here. I'll see to it. Well, actually, no. This is a well, this one's much closer, so we'll go here instead. Microorganisms through a microscope. I don't know me here. Well, you can always go back to the sewers. Continue on. Because I have a good feeling, or actually I don't have a good feeling that uh, the sewers are going to get any easier from this point forward. together and evening many moons ago. And this here is your daughter, Lainey. Greet your father, darling. Hello, father. Hi. Are you sure? I mean, I have no memory. So we're deep into your cups that evening, your cups. Let me know if you have no memory of the event. I... I see. What is it exactly that you want? I want you to take responsibility for your child, foolish man. Daddy, I like the other daddies better. Hush, child. What's this? <laughs> oh, nothing. Tell the Nerkas. A simple mistake, perhaps, on my part. Please do excuse me. You're in such trouble, girl. I see. Tell's blessing on you, then, and er, good day. Hello there. Oh, I know you. This child here is yours. It's time that you pay your dues for your foolish behavior. Perhaps I was saying, you look very similar to another I had to spend time with. Excuse me, my lord. Hold my tongue. Hold my tongue. How dare you treat the mother of your child in this manner? How about this fiendish bruise attempting to cheat his own blood? Uh, uh, perhaps I was mistaken. So off to the old tunnels then. As I would have done. It's Does everyone meet here. Let's explore the secret entrance after we take care of this cult. Tread 
on sacred ground. Only those who serve the unseeing eye may enter. I am Gaul, high priest of the one god. The unseeing eye has brought us enlightenment. Only by removing our eyes can we remove the veil of lies and deceit clouding our lives. He is the most ancient and wise of the race you might know as beholders. We servants have flocked to him gladly, and his mighty power protects us. You would be wise to serve him as we do. Uh, beholder? Beholders are incredibly powerful and smart. They have magic in their eyes. Or, or they're supposed to. I've never heard of an eyeless beholder myself. Without his eyes, the one god is stronger, not weaker. He has made mountains tremble and easily destroyed those fools who have come seeking his destruction. Only those who serve him are safe always. The one god has demanded that his disciples achieve a higher state of wisdom. You must remove that which is limiting and offensive. The unholy eyes are removed from your head during the sacred initiation. If you survive and are proven, the unseen eye accepts you into service. Sadly, there are those who lack this stamina to serve the one god. Their lack of faith betrays them. The bodies of those unfortunate are offered to the pit of the faithless. You dare suffer the wrath of the Almighty then, fool! I'm not going to waste time. I'm just going to say, you know what? Yeah, because I am... These doors. Alright, I got what I wanted. I don't really care. Let's move on. I said before that is a big dude. What do you need? I am skilled. You're right behind me, right? Unless we need a key of some sort. Hmm. 
Hmm. Not entirely sure what that entails, though. You require my counsel, yes? Very well. I. About it here. How are we helping the less fortunate trudging around in here? I want to see what other spells she can learn. You definitely want that in there for sure. You want those for sure. Yeah, making her, making her a. Oh, she can learn one more spell. Cool. Okay, so it looks like there's not much you can do for this point one. It's uh, probably best left to me. Why is he running away? There's that big dude again.
All right, so I think with that, I think it's safe to say we can probably skedaddle out of here. Because I think this is required if you're interested in joining, which I am not. Maybe in another playthrough. Curious blue about the secret entrance. I'm curious. If this is what I'm thinking. You must gather your party before. Don't let my friends be This is weird. I never expected to be here. Wherever I'm at. My weapon did the most damage.
Have a nice little dent, Yoshiro. Yeah, we'll be able to make ourselves a little bit of money to boot. idea if the spelling would even work. Uh, a terrible state to be in, I would think. Give me some hmm. I see. Okay, so it looks like some some wizard has lost his mirror in the sewers, no doubt. No one's trying to remember how to get back, how to get out of here. I'll be all set. Gather your party before venturing forth. Okay, good. We're back. But I think we're gonna look for the mirror another time. Down here in the sewer somewhere. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Actually, let's return to the temple here and collect a reward. And I'll let the streams go just a little bit longer. Done a great service. We will continue to remove all of its presence. To your reward, such service would earn greatness for one of the flock, but you are occupied elsewhere and will have 
them with mere gold and trinkets. You will not be disappointed. Though the spiritual rewards could have been much more. You are welcome here, so as long as you maintain a favorable reputation. Oh, speak with the guardian and tell him as you leave. He may have a test suited for you, though. Reserve true blessings for those that follow. It is within my power to answer and does not complain with my faith. I shall strive to provide it for you. What do you ask? Nothing that you do not know already, I suspect. The council outlaws magic, and yet the calm ones act upon whatever plots they wish. They must cooperate with the council, but likely provide no information of their activities. We do not associate with these wizards, so I know little of them. Helm's followers do not associate with brigands, and we are concerned about the war with another guild the Shadow Thieves seem to have engaged in. It is troubling that we know nothing of this other group. They are a mystery, though they are obviously competing with the Shadow Thieves. If I'm as fortunate, they will destroy each other, and the Helm will not be forced to watch the backs of this helpless faithful. As you wish, may the Watcher guard you. Alright, everyone's leveled up here, so I get to pick another, uh, style here. I think we're gonna go with the, with the Bastard Sword. Oh, I think I oh I spoke to him already about this. All right. Well, this way. Okay, we gotta go to the. Okay, let's go to the government area. And right, we're gonna save it here. I think on that note here, um, thank you to those who watched. I will see everyone next time.